Now, uh, the next indicator for me when I'm still hunting these big old bucks is the depth of that muzzle. He has a muzzle like that, that deep, deep meaning from in front of his eyeballs to the bottom of his jaw, that distance. If you check that distance, compare it to younger bucks, the younger buck will have more of a slender long snout like a German Shepherd. So uh, that's one of the key indicators is that depth of the muzzle from the bottom of the jaw to in front of the eyeballs on the top. Now the next indicator you got at Old Senior Citizen Buck is going to be the big Roman nose. Be that big curved top of the bridge of the nose, just like this guy right here. Check it out. That is a solid, solid indicator. You got a big old mature buck. Now your next indicator, the first one you're going to see is the, the weight of those antlers. Check it out. And the stunted, the stunted rack. See these points? There's nothing left here. It's just whittling down to nothing. Same as this back, little tiny back fork right here. Everything's whittling down, narrowing down, and getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And that's what they do that once they get past their prime, they're going backwards and they regress. Their racks get gnarlier and thicker and thicker, and the points will get shorter and stockier, and they really get a real, real character look to them. Real cool old characteristics, and it's, it just adds so much character to the look of these old bucks. But, uh, but really, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this for me. It's it's just too much fun. It's so so much fun, you know. Like I don't know, I don't I don't know what more to say except uh, it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun.